up? Welcome back to the vlogs. We are on day four of no shower. And this is not the longest I've gone actually, if I'm way totally honest. I typically shower like every other day, but that's usually when I'm in of within the vicinity of a Planet Fitness or something, but that is not the case. Right now I'm in the middle of rural desolate nowheresville and there's no shower facility in sight. So we are going to do something different today, something I've never done before and I'm gonna take you with me. We're gonna take a hobo shower. It's kind of a hobo shower. I mean, I'm gonna use a sink, but then I'm also gonna use this spray bottle, it's just water, and see how we do. <laughs> yeah. Here's my conditioner. It's this brand, I don't know. I'm gonna use that for my hair. It is environmentally friendly, and even if it isn't, I'm doing it in my sink anyway, and I usually dump my water in appropriate places. And then a bar of soap, that's just super organic and nothing but good stuff, so. I just hope I don't drop that soap in the gravel. <laughs> and you know what, while we're at it, Let's shave. Okay, again, I have never done this before, so let's make a mess together. I feel like I should probably not have my camera battery there. I have this somewhere. Do our body now. I'm gonna stand on this so I don't get my feet wet and then dirty. I'm gonna spray my body with this and then soak myself down with this. Ooh, it's all like melted, weird looking. This isn't that kind of video, so I might blur myself. We'll see. a wet rag. So, oh, it feels so nice out here doing this. Okay, now for the bottom half. Now, shave. That was easy and my hair's already almost dry. <laughs> Before we completely finish that shower sash, because it's ashy season, just dry skin season, we need to exfoliate our bodies. I have glycer glyceronic, glyceronic? I don't know what it is, acid here, and this helps with shedding of the dead skin cells. So I'm gonna spray this all over my body and then we're gonna be done for the day. Toby decided to join us. That's a first. I don't think I can get both of us. We'll see. But we are leaving this spot that we were at and we're going somewhere else. <laughs> uh, we're going to Vegas, that's where we're going. I want to get to Utah. That's so annoying. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna take a right and a left. So that's what we're gonna do. A second left, a right, a second left. Right, second left, second left. Come on, you're not a really good co-pilot. You're supposed to let me know about this. Oh, that's so annoying. <sighs> okay, whatever. We need to skedaddle, you know what I mean? Skedaddle, skedaddle, skedaddle. Gasted by the prices of gas in these small towns. Where's my key? I already lost my key. Oh, Toby has my key. Toby's toes. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just put in $20. I already looked it up and there is another gas station about two hours, two and a half hours away from here. That is that is a dollar cheaper. So we're gonna only gonna put enough to get by and go from there. I have 209 miles to go before I need to fill up again. The next gas station is 146. That will fluctuate depending on like the roads and stuff. I'm gonna barely make it to the next gas station before I hit Vegas. Let's go. Another one! Oh my goodness! I've said it many times, I know I would change my ways, I know for sure When all the crows decide to meet I pulled over because it looked really cool over here, but no dogs are allowed. And I wanted to take Toby out to go potty. And I really want to run through these dunes, but it's also too hot. Oh my god! I don't know what that is, but that was my sign to stay in the van. I was gonna go over there to go potty, but now I'm gonna stay in here. Okay, yep, I'm going potty in my van. We got here right on time. And guess what the gas prices are? Not a lot of it, but a little better. <laughs> Just made it to my final resting place for the night. And I'm probably gonna shower there in the morning, so I'll see you then. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning! Oh, you got some eye boogies? What's going on? <laughs> Good morning from the parking lot of Planet Fitness. I am the cutest person in the entire world. Let me just tell you that much right now. I'm gonna go in there and shower real quick. I'm walking in with this. I'm gonna walk out with it. I just don't, I don't know why I don't bring clothes with me in there. I always come out in the same thing. I know why. It's because I always change my mind. I always change my outfit all the time. So I like to like put something on, take it off, take it, put another thing on, take it off. I still do that. Even though I end up always wearing the same thing. Okay. I usually brought this entire bag with me when I go to the gym, but that's if I'm also working out because I also have bands and stuff. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna transfer things into here now. This bag has all of my shampoos and shower stuff, basically. So I put my shampoos in these little bottles and I have big containers of it in the back. It's just easier for maneuvering. Next, shower shoes. I actually lost my shower shoes multiple times already. I leave them in the bathroom, which is dumb. I don't know why I always forget about them. I have my toothpaste and an extra toothbrush. Oh, I also have my hair dryer and stuff in here. That's also why I bring it in. But I got a keratin treatment when I was in Bali. And if you don't know what a keratin treatment is, it's basically like a protein bonding thing. There's that. And obviously a towel. Obviously a towel. All right, let's get it. I just want to say, I would never, ever, ever go around recording in any restroom if there were people there, but there was nobody, literally nobody there. It's a Toby, Toby toes, Toby, Toby, Toby toes, Toby, 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 and Toby, Munch, Munch. I have been driving and driving and driving now I'm in Utah. I'm just here to be my full, honest self. And I already started this journey with you in a previous video, so we're gonna continue it. Look. Uh, what we are working with here, it is horrifying. Look, I know I got a lot of comments from people telling me, giving me great advice, by the way. Super 
amazing advice. So if you're having an acne issue like myself, read those comments from this video and someone will probably have some help for you. Here's the thing though, I've done all of that and I feel like my diet isn't horrible. I clean my sheets once a week, I wash my face, daily twice a day I, I think I do a pretty good job at taking care of myself so why is it still happening and I'll tell you why you know what? yeah I'm gonna tell you why it's hormones it's straight-up hormones I mean it has to be I had actually been on birth control since I was 15 years old for the past 15 years I had been on birth control and I've tried all of it I was on the pill I had the arm implant I had an IUD and I had a nuva ring over the summer I completely just stopped it. My face was pretty clear for the first two months and I thought, wow, that's amazing. December hit and it just went completely downhill from there. And on top of that, coincidentally, I think not, I became very irregular. Since then I've been irregular and my acne has been flaring up. This right here happened a day before I started. Yeah, that's uh, my little story on where I think my acne has come to play. This is a journey. Consider this the start of my acne journey. I don't know how this happened, but a hummingbird found its way to my van. Oh my goodness, it's having a panic attack. I need to figure out how to get it out. One second. Oh yes, 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 yes. Oh, we were so close. We were so close. There you go. <sighs> we did it. Salt Lake City. Could you imagine if I just dropped my phone? The thing is, I wouldn't be surprised. No, I would not be surprised at <laughs> this all. This one definitely would have. Drop it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> if I drop something or trip or whatever, I'm like, oh, I'm having such a serenade. <laughs> Option number three, no, room four. Option number four of showering when you're living on the road. Somebody else's hotel, but particularly someone that you know. Don't go to like some random person's <laughs> hotel room. This is his hotel room and we're just hanging out. And taking showers. And taking showers. And that's all I have to say about that. We're on our way to, I don't even know where we're to going. To an now. expo. I think it's called Outsiders or something. Somehow we're getting in. I'm getting in via Van Life Diaries. I'm getting in via Jackery. Woohoo! <laughs> Let's go. Girl, this is where she learned in Denver to like get on escalators and it was such a big thing for her. I always grab her tail because I'm like worried it'll get. Oh yeah. You good girl! Good girl then. Uh, but that's basically the pump you have in your van. Just their version of it. Yeah. I'm so excited. <laughs> this is a good way I'm really hot right now. So, a lot has happened in the last few days since I last showered. My last shower was at Plant Fitness. It's been four days. Four days later. I ended up washing my hair in my sink actually, but I, I, I legit need to take an actual shower now. I've been hanging out in Salt Lake City for this entire time. There was an expo, an outdoor retailer expo. So I got to go there and rep Van Life Diaries and make connections with the outdoor retailers. Met some amazing cool people. There wasn't a Planet Fitness within the vicinity of where I parked. I ended up paying for a parking spot in the city center in like the hotel district because it was only $12 a day and I was in the middle of downtown. I was only about a 10 minute walk from the expo and really close to like everybody. And I didn't want to move my van, you know? No more chit chatting. Got a lacking. I need to start heading towards Moab. I'm meeting up with Kyle because we're going to be caravanning the rest of the way to Denver. Yeah, anyway, it is about three hours away. So you know how we talked about Pockies a while ago? Hello Pandas are the next best thing. If you haven't had Hello Pandas, Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Good morning. Oh, goodness gracious. We're currently at a Love's truck stop. Kyle pulled in last night, so now we're gonna be caravanning the rest of the way to Denver. I need a shower. Before I go shower, I need to take Toby out, and while I take him out, I'm going to fill my water because it is spigot right next to the dog park here. And did you know there are dog parks at these truck stops? There's everything here. I love Love's. Looks like we have a fan, a normal gas station sink, a nice little bench area, a toilet, a bath. Oh, and a shower with shampoo and soap. Actually, I don't know what those are, but soap. <laughs> what I wasn't sure about is if they like clean the showers between people, and they do. I saw the person that does it, so let's get to showering. There's also no limit. I can be here for as long as I want to. Not that I need to, but if I wanted to stay here for an hour, two hours maybe, I probably could. Don't forget these. I don't know why I started whispering. I feel like people can hear me. Okay, I'm as ready as I can be in this truck stop. Stop, shower. Going to gather my things and head back to the van. We're about an hour and a half away from Grand Junction where the price per gallon is under $4. So I have 207 miles available in my tank. Grand Junction's 103 miles away. I'll definitely make it and that's where I'll fill up my gas. So yeah, that's what's happening. It's too heavy, My hair is an absolute naughty mess because it is so windy outside right now. Fast forward, it's Tuesday. That was Friday and I'm in Wyoming. I'm not even in Denver. I was in Denver for a hot take, literally a hot take. It was so hot there for me to be in my van and I had a lot of work to do that I needed to do in my van. So blah, blah, blah. I needed to leave, so I left. I'm in Wyoming now. I didn't go to Tiny Fest because I was way too drained, <laughs> socially drained from the outdoor retailer expo that I went to last week. Don't get me wrong, I had the best time ever. I had so much fun meeting a bunch of people, hanging out with Nikita, Ryan, and Travis, and going to a free Shaky Graves concert. I mean, like nothing to complain about there. But the thing is, as an introvert, socializing for that long, literally I was there from 10 a.m. to midnight. Yeah, because after the show, I ended up hanging out with more people at the end of the night. And the expo is three days long. I could only do one day. I'm in the middle of nowhere, Wyoming, recharging. More on that in the next video. My next video is gonna be more of the journey of me getting to this point. And let me tell you, it was a rocky, 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 rocky road. Literally. Oh, actually. <laughs> while we're on the topic of the expo and we're here for the showers i have one more bonus shower for you a bonus shower option for you what are we at number five i know all of us living on the road or even just traveling in general when you're on road trips when you're flying to another country you bring wipes don't you i always bring wipes and i always have wipes wipes is a necessity for me also get the baby ones get the baby wipes in the baby section they're cheaper and they're so much better and they also work as a nice temporary shower just a nice little cleanser I would say it's never enough as an actual shower so it's a good to get you by but not enough to make you feel super clean however when I was at the expo I came across a booth from shower pouch what it is just one giant wet wet wipe wet wipe that is reusable it's reusable as he was giving us the pitch I was sold by the way he mentioned that you can also have hot showers with it all you have to do is stick this bag in boiling water and then you have a hot bath. And then he also showed how to clean it and whatever. This isn't sponsored. He didn't ask me to talk about it or anything. I just thought it was super cool. They're a very small company. So I am excited to try this out and support them if I like the product. I'm not gonna try it out today because I don't need to. I showered recently already, but I will in the next video. So anyway, with that said, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, do all the things and have a wonderful, beautiful, amazing, fantastic day. Bye.